I assume he just summons a ballista. Ah, uh, that's so cool. I love that. That's so cool. Hey, what's going on? Mecha here with Fire Emblem Slav Defense. This is the winner of a hacking contest that was held in Mecha's Keep, my Discord server. If you're into ROM hacks or hacking in general, there are competitions like this every now and then, specifically around the birthdays or the anniversaries of Mecha's Keep. Uh, they get organized by the person heading my Discord server, Pushy. So keep a lookout for his announcements if you're into that stuff. Uh, this was made by a person named Randall. He won the competition. And uh, one of the prizes of winning is that I play your hack on my channel. So here you have it. This competition is called the RRHG or the Restricted ROM Hacking Challenge. Uh, the third one we've held actually. And uh, it had to be held based on either a real historical location or real historical event. And so this person chose the Slav defense. Now, I'm not a history buff, not at all. So I was like, all right, let me just look up what the hell this is about. Um, just Google it, Wikipedia it. All I got were chess openings. <laughs> all I got was chess openings. So I'm going in blind as ever. Um, hopefully I won't end up missing any of the, uh, any of the important information stuffs. But uh, if not, at least we should have a fun ROM hack. And uh, this person chose to make a defense map as far as I know. Uh, I looked into it a little bit. Uh, just to see if it works. And it looks pretty good, so let's get into it. It's only one chapter. This is a one-time thing. Let's see what we got. And, uh, as usual with ROM hacks and custom creations, I do like to read out the story because work was put into it. I might as well show it off. It's part of what they created. Let's see. Uh, the text is on slow. I don't think I can change that. Uh, I can't believe it's been two years since the siege began. Right, that also makes two years since you've been as... Assigned as the head of, been assigned as the head of defense, and you, the rank of bishop, we're all thankful for what the church does for the people. It helps ease their minds off the siege. Thank you, Lester, but prayers only do so much. These people here are strong, but I fear it won't last much longer. We're only making do with the supplies from those Strymonite traders. Right, the whoa, <laughs> the Ringinoi block blockages have made resupplying difficult. Oh, look at the time. The scouts should be returning from the patrol soon. Can I come along? It's been some time since I had the chance to leave the city walls. Of course. Okay, looks like we got some Ephraim Lord and the Bishop. That's odd. They should have returned by now. You don't suppose something could happen out there? Nope, those two are well-trained, but if it's taking them this long, it can only mean one thing. Invasion. Ooh, flyers of scouts. Good idea. That's what I would have done. Captain. Ooh, that's some slazy music. Selena, Alora, what do you have to report? The slams are preparing to attack. I knew it! I knew it. And if it were a normal attack, you two wouldn't have that look. How bad is it this time? A normal attack? Like, you just have, like, two catapults and four soldiers and that's it? So it's not just the Rinchinoi or the Sadgudatai from the West. Both are coming with this stream moment. <laughs> Damn! You really picked you didn't pick the easiest names for this one. That can't be. The Strimonitai have been giving us supplies through the blockage. Damn them all, we should never have trusted them. Not only do we have to deal with those brutes, but they also have siege engines. How is that possible? That's, oh no. What is it, Surges? Well, while within our walls, this Strimonitai must have learned how to make them. So the Strapana tie to the east, the Sajuda tie to the west, and the Rino Shinoi <laughs> to the south with the main force. Not to mention that the Strymoni tie riders could flank us from the north. Surges, how long until the Emperor's reinforcements come? About 25 days. Sisters, an estimate on when the armies will arrive. Strymoni tie seems to be getting ready quickly, so maybe 10 days for them. The others are taking longer, so it might take them like 13 or 14 days. Shimonitai will likely use that time to attack the north gate first. And distract us from defending the south while the main force prepares to attack. We have 10 days to prepare our soldiers. We'll send the bulk of the army north, but we'll keep our more experienced units at the south gate for the assault in 13 days. Once the attack begins, we must last 12 days. We won't let them break through just when the siege is coming to an end. Uh, for what I'm getting, I, I looked at the map real quickly. I know it takes 12 turns to end, and that was like part of the contest rules. Is only have like 20 turns max for active gameplay. So I think it'll be 12 turns. And I don't know if anything after 12 turns matters. We'll see. Usually these kind of texts are used to refer to reinforcements that are coming in. 
and make certain that they are all prepared. The enemy will be approaching the gate any within any <laughs> within any minute now. Yes, sir. Next report. Northern Gate Guard is holding the enemy back for now. They also said that a number of enemy units have begun repositioning eastward. What are the walls themselves? Previous attacks have left them in an unfortunate state. Breakable walls? Alright, exterior walls have yet to be broken. However, they are in a state where foot soldiers could break through. That does ensure the south gate will not have the same issue. To all units to be alert, if enemies attempt to flag us at our side walls. Yes, sir. So it's time. Yes, let's head to the walls. Everyone should be at their stations. We should get to ours as well. Alright, Blonde Ephraim, you got this. Hey, Chunky, Chunky Gilliam. Little Kent is finally done giving orders before the showdown. Catmus, Evander. Ooh, it's Kyle and Garrick. Let's hold the main fronts. No worm can pass our defenses. Right, sir. No slav can break my shield. If they do, they will face my spear. Ah, that must be the halberd here. <laughs> ah, they won't even get the chance to attack back. That's the hero. Oh, we got a great knight, Selena. But Anthony always gets riled up. Irene Virgil. Ooh. We've received our holders. Corp back to Sajudate Axe Fighters. If they're not overextend, they will have reinforcements backing them up. They are slow. 100 slugs are slugs all the same. <laughs> Alas, paired with two beauties, one stern is a diamond, the other striking is lightning, yet I must spend this time fighting oaths. Whoa, is me. <laughs> Whoa. Can't believe they put me in charge. Uh, you with the horse, you with the book. <laughs> Let's just take out the leader. These look a lot more custom, they're cool. If you're out of the picture, the rest should leave. Hell, if little old Al kicked the bucket, I... No, never mind. I think I traded with some of those people. I can't believe they'll turn that quick. Before you... Dude, what's with, what's with your face? What's up with your eyes? Something is off there. Uh, before you run off attacking uh, their leader, she should recall that the main army is returning from the east. The Strymonites will be the first attacked by his grace. They may make a tactical retreat before they are flanked from behind. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. Oh, Ballista. I can't believe he's actually attacking. Please, allow me to shoot my brother off his horse and finally end him. Alright, we'll try that. And uh, the flyers. The enemies are almost ready. They are coming positioned as predicted. Yeah, but we saw... A hell of a lot more coming from the coast. Looks like there are more reinforcements than what's already there. And another ballista! This one is actually riding a one. Oh, let's go! It's Brown Garcia. Oi! We're the reason Thessalonica has the unbreakable defenses it's known for. Whenever I set up a said cheese engine, I want one of you boys to man the station. Wait, he makes them? Hold up. And it's Tethys. Whenever one of you gets tired, come to me. I'm sure I can reinvigorate your fighting spirit. Dancer? And there's the enemies. Alright. Alright, all units in position. Good. You Byzantine bastards. Aruda was just, and you not only jailed him under false accusations, but killed him when he visited peace. Go join your western brothers in hell. I've heard stories of the sack of Rome, and now I get to experience the sack of his child. The trees of Thessalonica will run red with blood. Our northern science or division is positioned to attack on your order. Perfect. Keep me updated on our scouts to the east. I have no plans to let us fall with those two brutes. Yes, chief. Tsk. Why did the old man make me chief right after making this dumb agreement? I sure hope she doesn't see me before I get out of this mess. Alright. No preps. Just straight into it. Let's take a look at what we got. Um, it's a big map, bro. It's a big map. Uh, but we only have to defend this castle. Uh, what do we actually have to defend, actually? Where do we, How do we lose? Uh, that's my first question, because, uh, I mean, they're already inside this little castle over here. Um, I'm assuming I don't have to stop them from getting in here, because that's impossible. Uh, they can make it into the halls. Maybe you can see it here. Um, I mean, I'm going to guess Alastor can't die. I have to defend 12 turns, or defeat all commanders, and those are over here. I mean, this the true sword just showed them. Here's one here, and uh, one here. Uh, but figuring out how to get to them will probably be a bit too difficult on my first run through. Uh, let's check out our units, alright? So, we got Alastor. Um, if you're wondering where all the stats are, like red, that's an indication of how good their growths are. It's zero. They're all zero percent. We have no growths. In terms of growths, we have none. We also don't have any leadership stars, apparently. Uh, but this guy's got Kanto, at least. And then, uh, some Silver Spear Killer. A-rank Lances. C-rank Support with that Bishop Dude. So that's looking pretty alright. I have no idea how good these are in context of the enemies. We'll have to figure it out by battling, probably. But uh, looking good. Uh, we have Sergius the Bishop. Uh, he's got something. Slayer? Okay, so... So far, just FE8 vanilla skills, because the other guy had Kanto. Um, I noticed this too. He has a Fortify stat that he can't use. 
and then a couple of other cool stats. He has a rescue staff, and, but he's got like high rank staff, so if I use physic enough, he can use fortify, which is cool. And he supports Selena as well. Um, I'm assuming that's not the same Selena as the actual Great Knight, but we'll see. Uh, we have Alora, uh, B support, so probably support with the Wyvern. Uh, Wind Sword, interesting. Uh, it actually has a magic stat, so that would come in handy. Javelin, Steel Sword, Elixir. And we got Selena. Okay, so she's the Wyvern with some uh, some axes. Redhead Wyvern. I'm always a fan, always a fan. We got Brave Axe, pretty strong Brave Axe. And Bolt Axe as well, but not a whole lot of magic to back it up. Uh, we have a general, you know, just a chunky big dude. I uh, like that he has Gilliam's portrait. I do appreciate that most people have like the same, like even though they're reused portraits with a bit of recoloring, they match the class they were in originally, so you don't have to use Whiplash. Uh, like I remember, uh, for example, Last Promise in like its very first incarnations, it had like Raven show up as like something completely different, and it was very weird and off-putting. Uh, but yeah, Evander, Capmoose, and Lexine. I don't know who those are. We'll find out, I guess. Here's Capmoose, so that's what he's got to support with, the hero dude. Um, stats. For ROM hacks, I like it when characters just kind of conform to what classes are known for. So, for example, heroes are supposed to be kind of balanced, kind of speedy, strong dudes. So, I do appreciate that. Because that makes it easier to get used to them, right? If you made, if you made like, a hero with, like, no strength and, uh, like, really high defense, it'd be very weird and hard to get used to. So, I appreciate that always. Uh, we got a halberdier, pretty balanced stats as well. Just some uh, some weapon dudes. Um, a great knight with the zambato. Um, I'm gonna assume the weapons that they are given are kind of intended to be used on the character that you know have them. So I'm not gonna trade around too many items unless I feel like I have to. Uh, we have Irene, a bunch of uh, sword stuffs, critical bonus probably. Yep, that's what I thought. Fast, dodgy, you know the whole usual sword master stuff. Bass Cannon, Virgil the Sage, Elfire Bolting, Mend and Shine. Okay, definitely no sense in hoarding those. Um, Radovan, Alan also with the Zambato. So I guess they're gonna be anti-horse riding units. And David the Rogue, or David I guess, the Light Brand. Uh, and a reasonable magic stat as well. Uh, I'm assuming this is like Lock Touch. Yeah, that's Lock Touch. Not much of a point in opening treasure. I like the Light Brand, I like the Poison Sword, very flavor. And Maria, what kind of Luna do you have? Garbage Luna, okay, can just ignore that. Actually it doesn't have Flux, just Nosferatu, Luna, and the Eclipse, so... Yeah, she doesn't seem that good at fighting, but I, I guess her magic is really high, so I guess she's the tend to be Chip. And Ivanka the Sniper is in here, uh, with Ballista ready, so she can shoot people, like turn 1 actually. Uh, probably intends to do that. Alright, anyone else? Oh yeah, the, the Siege Master. An engineer who can craft siege weapons quickly. Skill crafts. Hold up, what's that? So he's got a giant crossbow that pierces defense. Oh, so this is like a Radiant Dawn crossbow. Uh, Caltraps. Launches just Caltraps to slow enemies. Wait, slows them down? Okay, we'll have to see how that goes. A scorpion. It's a poison weapon, but it's also more might than anything else I have. This guy has humongous strength, so I'll probably be shooting that a lot. And he makes stuff, he can craft them. That's really interesting. So he just makes ballistas. I'm going to guess we get like NPC soldiers from here that can use those ballistas. That's really cool. And I like that they can just go anywhere too. Just craft ballistas. That's a really cool mechanic. Anyone else I haven't looked at yet? Oh, the dancer, I guess. Yeah, she's got Phyllis Mind and Grace. Only five uses each. That's understandable. And I assume this is just dance. Yeah, perform. Okay. Uh, let me turn the options. Interesting. All very interesting. We'll see if it uh, if it plays as well as it seems to be. Uh, we got some axe dudes over here that we can probably counter with our sword dudes. A uh, bunch of lance guys here. Uh, so I probably have like two axe units and a lance user here. We have a lord as well. I'm gonna guess the main focus is gonna be this area because most enemies are. And then from here we have a bunch of nomads and then I don't really have a lot to counter them besides this javelin because this druid probably not very good at countering them. You don't have a Delphi shield here, so would you guess we're gonna need some help from Ivanka over here at least? I might send my Lord to the right. I don't know why. I just feel like they need the most help. That's what I think. You have some centaurs as well, or marauders, I guess is what they're called. Um, they taint their mounts with their strength alone. <laughs> Very impressive. And some bosses. Let's play. Let's just play. We'll 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 go through it as we see fit. I didn't see any skills, so I don't have to pay attention to that, which is very helpful. Uh, if you want me to play your ROM hack. Don't put a bunch of skills in. That's like my number one tip. 
Okay, I don't really care if I get hit by a hatchet. Um, you look kind of sturdy. I'm probably just gonna use your sword to get through. Don't overextend, like I said. But you know, kind of, kind of go nuts here. Get set animations on, right? I don't know if I want to face this warrior turn one, but I do want to face this guy turn one. Actually, I don't really care. Yeah, maybe let the warrior come to us for a turn. Because I don't want to get hit by. Yeah, let's just. I mean, we do have a healer available. Okay, let's just let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's move forward and try it. Just uh, put in range with this Zambato and this Swordmaster as well. Uh, this is in range. Yeah, okay, I, I want that. I want that. i go here. Silver Sword probably fine. We even weaken something with Bolting. I think maybe weakening the Warrior is correct here. If you got this, might as well use it. If we want to get to the bosses, we probably have to be aggressive, so let's try it. Cool music. I like it. I never recognize game music ever, so just a fair warning. Um, I don't have a whole lot to shoot, so let me just try that crafting thing that he does. I'm assuming he just summons a Ballista. Ah, uh, that's so cool. I love that. That's so cool. So every turn where he doesn't need to shoot someone, he can just get a new Ballista on. That's so great. I like this a lot. Uh, so you can create Ballistas. Oh, it's actually a Seizer. I can use him to shoot shit. Oh, that's so amazing. This is my favorite part by far. Okay, if I can shoot that warrior this turn, I would. But I think I should have summoned him in a different place. He only have one move, right? Yeah, that's that's the problem here. I mean, I might as well shoot something with him, right? He's probably going to die anyway, but I just want to try this. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. Okay, that's by far the best part of this. Okay, so the general... You could probably take these guys to an extent. Like, how much do you guys like? 20? 24. Okay. Uh, if he had an axe, that would be really helpful. He does have a tomahawk, so probably... Uh, we can't use a turn one. No shovers available, unfortunately. I could maybe rescue drop someone and range them turn one. That'd be funny. Uh, would that be worth? Uh, take, drop, one down. I think it's not far enough. Because he like, take, drop, one down here. That's like the middle square, like here. Yeah, it's not quite far enough, but we'll try to meet them in the middle at least. Quick to Tomahawk. Can I check global ranges? Yep, I can. Okay, great. So, you just go down here. If we if it goes wrong, we can just retreat. We probably want to fight them in the range of our ballistas. Let's, um... I mean, we might as well try to shoot this guy, right? Goodbye. And we can just focus on countering these nomads with our javelin, I suppose. I don't think it doubles, but might as well try. Let's see how many dudes he can fish up here. Be careful, keep everyone else a bit out of range. I don't know where she'll be most useful. I would guess the middle, but I have like a lot of people there already. Probably some pretty good people as well. Oh, I had the dancer. I could have done something with that. Alright, that's my B. Probably should have done something with that. Uh, Bishop probably in the middle so he can reach everyone with Physic. We can rescue. Okay, so we could have used the rescue staff to get a good positioning there. We do like this. Hold up. Ah yes, that's, that's animation. I'm gonna play it once, and exactly once, and then turn it off. As much as I like it. I got a lot of people. So how many dudes do you want to be in range of? Uh, the answer is yes. I have a wiper, you better make use of them. Um, Ravax might be good. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna focus on the halberdier. We're gonna use a range weapon here. Spear, hand axe, drop, and this is like in range of the soldier, so that should be good enough. Yeah, let's see if they survive, right? And then, I mean, you have a support, might as well come along. And... Maria... Just uh, follow along here. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so apparently holding A during enemy phase um, stops animation, so don't do that, I guess. Uh, let's see if this works. Attack, kaboom, goodbye. Alright, let's see if not holding A will provide the difference needed. Uh, should be on solo. Kill that guy again. Good animation didn't play. But I guess that guy is on solo, so that makes sense. Okay, let's see. 
Not holding any buttons. Uh, which means they move kind of slow. Okay, so they do work if I just don't hold. Hey, perfect. Okay, so we'll just deal with the movements. That's fine. Goodbye, Rinchinas. Okay, goals. Get rid of the halberd here. Or at least, like, injure him. Uh, but this look like a lot of dudes. I don't think a single unit of mine could take all these, but... Oh, there you go. Oh, I held eight like a dumbass. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to it. Okay, I put one my Paladin range of that Paladin. That Paladin has a Zambato, but I put him at two range, so... All I was going to be able to do is use his... Uh, I think he's like a Javelin or a Short Spear or something. Oh, nice. She won rounds this fighter. Good. No need to worry about him, then. And there's the Swordmaster. Easy one round. Okay, these guys are kind of chumps, though. It probably doesn't matter too much. What you do with them. The point is I got rid of the warrior, and I'm really proud of that. Okay, another dude. That's the hatchets. That did nothing. You could probably just ignore him and not be baited out outwards. Just let the Axe Knights do dudes come. This is one hell of a siege. Okay, uh, there's a nomad dude. Really doubt Rado Van is gonna double. Oh, all right, okay, okay, never mind. I was getting excited there, but no, no, you're not doubling this. I'm sorry. You're not doubling. Okay, that's me holding A. Just the draft race habit. Oh, just, yeah, they're, they're gonna keep on coming. But. This is a three tile wide choke point. If we can conquer this, it'll be much better than if we have to fight in this open space, especially because we have all these units here. Uh, the drawback is, of course, that we can't really use the ballistas that way, but they can help in the outside, so it wouldn't waste them, I guess. Uh, it'd be kind of interesting if you could craft a ballista that we could use with her. Nah, they, they always come with the NPCs, the seizures. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Uh, can you just attack that guy and kill him? Heavy crossbow, cal traps. I wonder how that even works. Scorpion. Well, that kills him with poison. So that should kill him at the start of the turn. So you could, yeah, getting rid of that guy could be good because then everyone else just faces weapon trials advantage. I guess these guys have bows, so not entirely. Um, maybe move the swordmaster back a bit. Do you support anyone here? Just Antonius. Who's uh, not even here? Who's Antonius? Oh, he's over here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. You yeah, have um, not Selena to take care of that part. I'm gonna ignore this guy because he does zero damage. No, I don't care about him. But I, w I think I will use the scorpion on the wyvern knight. That seems pretty neat. And then poison happens at the start of their turn, so this guy shouldn't get to attack. Take this. Oh, got him! <laughs> he crit. <laughs> <laughs> works for me. Works for me. That means I get XP. Which doesn't matter because everyone is 0%, including this guy. But hey, it's there. Oh, I guess that means I don't get the short spear here. <laughs> that is like one small drawback of that. Because, um, I mean, she already has a short spear. No one else here needs it. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, let's just. As long as I just keep fighting the one range dudes uh, with my great hand. Like, I, I can even retreat like back a little bit to force them maybe into more awkward positions. Uh, like, force them to engage in one range. You're a bit awkward for Irene if she gets hit. If I move back here with the short spear, uh, I think the, the hatchet guy moves first. Or the warrior, it doesn't really matter. The point is I get to counter like one dude. And that's all I need. And then you just go next to her right now. Uh, you use a rune sword if you want to, I guess. It's not gonna make a big difference. How much magic do you have? 13, okay. Uh, we'll keep him on hold. I might bolting someone later. I felt cute to my bolting later. Right, so this guy's maxed out magic. So there are flux tomes here, we just can't use them. Worm Slayer, dude, that's not cool. Uh, Drew it with Nasratu. I'm not super keen on fighting all these at once with this this squad that I got here, but at the same time, I don't think I have much of a choice. I don't want to pull back all the way here. I guess it would stall me a couple turns, but then they have access to my ballistas and stuff. So I think fighting them here is the play. It's kind of put Mr. General at the front line. How 
I wonder how badly he fares against these shamans. He has 20 res. Jeez, never mind. Okay, he's good. <laughs> he's good to go. He's the he's actually my best anti-magic unit that I have. I like the Halberdier as well for that purpose. So we need one more to fill this slot. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to use Selena here because she probably dies to the Worm Slayer. Yeah, you know, basically dies. We could Brave Axe or like Bolt Axe him. Nah, that's not gonna work. I guess we can just use the Lord and uh, hope that the support keeps him alive. He does get... Oh, it's your fire. Your fire, I think. Okay, so not a whole lot of defense from that support then. Uh, who's your support partner? Sturgis. He's all the way back here, just the bishop. I think it... Or you could use Capmos. He supports Antonius, so... That gives him, like, some extra defense as well. And Evander... Albert Deer. Yeah, I think it's just those three because kind of have to take the front line here. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, it might have to be a two shot. I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, so you can go here. here. If you get hit somehow, I can just heal. Just hit this guy up. <laughs> Whenever I see this Albert Deer animation, I just think I'm about to get crit. You can't blame me for that. I don't believe. It is what it is. Kill him. That guy out of the way. And I guess the wyvern just get rid of uh, this this guy. Uh, who do you support again? Alora and Sergius. Okay, they don't matter. Just brave axe here. Brave axing a soldier with the steel lance. Not what I thought I'd be doing in Fire Emblem today. I do like that we have a GBA wyvern with axes though. I love axe axe wyverns. Like, come on, Har and Jill are way cooler than all the other wyverns combined. Uh, so keep you as close to the front line as possible, just use a... You know, good use of physic. Good use of physic. Wow, that, <laughs> that took a while. This physic took a while to load. It had a loading lag. I have... how much move? Hmm. Oh, we can actually get the general one to closer with the dancer. Because you can go here. Uh, you might not even want the hand axe on him. Armor Slayer is on Bato. Armor Slayer is actually kind of annoying. I guess that means we want to give him the Silver Lance or something. That's probably the most neutral option we have. I mean, this guy's here, but he doesn't do that much. Or we can have them all have one to range. We just kill the Shamans on enemy phase. That's also an option. I kind of like that. Like, weaken them at least. Okay. We'll one step down. Dance. I guess we also have Ninis Grace as an option. Instead of this little move that I did. Maybe that would have been better. Uh, so Tomahawk. I know your armor slayer is here, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, I guess Javelin here, because Spear probably weighs him down. Oh it doesn't. Okay, so we just I think we just spear this guy then. So that he hopefully dies. I don't know if I want these enemies to die. Oh well, they're dying now. Okay, so Antonio is totally fine. That's his name, right? Antonio? Well, wow, I love how generous the XP is. <laughs> I mean, you don't support any of these, so I can just put you wherever, I guess, rescue drop ready or something. You're already done. Uh, I guess the hatchet guy might attack Virgil. I guess I'm not completely... It would be okay if he did. I'm here. I like that it's divided into the sections so they don't overlap too much early on. That is nice. Um, can we get rid of this? Not yet, but I like I like to get rid of the Hellward entirely because oh, he's gonna Zambato me next turn probably. I wonder how painful that is. We can Zambato him. But I don't want to go out in the open with these characters. I guess I can Eclipse and then like gang up on him with everything else that we got. This could also crit. I didn't do as much as I was hoping. Uh, maybe Eclipse though, should be done first. I think we can still do 9 though. But the problem is also I need to this rogue to block the place. Yeah, I should have done this in a different order. Well, what's done is done. I think it's gonna be a matter of um, using the rogue here, which is just light brand. We can light rune, I guess, for a turn, choke the points. But I think even if it helps me now, it's not gonna do a whole lot in the future. You can technically mend, I guess. I'm gonna Eclipse. Maybe Light Rune is to play this turn. Let's hope this hits. Yeah. 
shucks. Okay, so in that case, I think it's just Javelin. And Lightbrand. I don't think there's a point in Lightrunning, because he's gonna like, have to survive a couple enemies anyway. We can even kill one enemy, but then we have to get close to the front line, I don't want that. So let's just stay here. And just seize your dude. I guess just hit this warrior. Take that. Okay, let's hope it works out. Okay, it goes for my uh, Aruga. Worked out for him, I guess. Okay, this Worm Slayer going for my Not Worm. Always good. This shouldn't be a kill. Oh, never mind. This guy murders everything. Okay, he might suffer from uh, some success here. And yeah, this is the problem. Like this, this enemy army is so diverse that they will always be able to weapon triangle me, unless I very specifically set up my formation in a way that they can't, which might have been what I should have done. Oh man, bad level up, bad level up. Reroll, please. Okay, hopefully none of them died though. And there's a flux. I don't know if this even makes a big difference if the guy just kills everything because there's so many spots you can get attacked from. Also, that's a. I guess that miss kind of helps his survivability now that I think about it because now the Wyvern can't one range him and stuff. Uh, but you can still get attacked by this, for example. But the supports do make a bit of a difference because I think he would have been two shot by like two of these if it wasn't for that support. Although this might have been one of those guys that gets 0 0.5 defense and res from supports, which means it rounds down. What a very mean chapter. I like it though. Goodbye. <laughs> He's getting lucky. He's getting lucky. I like it. Quick and dirty. I like it. Mm -hmm. Open up. I'm worried about the druid because they do massive damage. If my druid is any indication. But this should be the last enemy that gets to attack Capos. If we don't get too many reinforcements, then they might be able to break through to the boss. They are like, they have the manpower too. But the question is, will we be able to withstand all these attacks? Especially if the reinforcements come every single turn. Oh, that's a two range attack. Uh, maybe Evander will double this guy. Wyvern's not too fast, right? Yep, okay, goodbye. Okay, so this worked out. I think if I got like a little more unlucky, I might have died here. Turns out, I was not as unlucky as I would need it to be. Okay, maybe this will kill me. Yo, yeah, that will kill me. <laughs> that will kill me. <laughs> I forgot about this Halberd, goddammit. I saw it too. I saw him too. But, uh, yeah. We got Halberd. We got Halberd up pretty hard. Okay, so my right hand side is gonna get completely conquered. I would reset, but the turns, like, take quite a while. I think I'm just gonna keep playing, see if I can still survive the chapter somehow. Killing all commanders might be out of the question, though, without that paladin over there. You know, if it's a real war, you wouldn't just reset, right? You would just keep playing with the mans you have. Okay, yeah, she's fine. That bow guy probably gonna go for my... Oh, goes for it. Shit. No, my seizure. No! Boss, stage is down. No! Okay, so I made some mistakes this turn. Like, the only reason this happens is because of mistakes that are very apparent, right? Like, I know what I did wrong, so I could just fix it. That's good. I hate it when you lose a chapter, but you're like, wait, what could I even have done about this? But it's very obvious from my positioning what I could have done to fix it. Okay, probably gonna merc my uh, my rogue or my druid. Yeah, she used the clip, so she's probably, like, about to die. I'm not dead, but... Yeah, we might just live for another turn. We need some ballista help, that's for sure. Ooh, ooh, uh, more dudes. Yep, okay, more dudes. Yeah, that paladin, we're gonna, we're gonna miss her for sure. We're gonna miss our paladin. But we can at least kill this other enemy paladin as retribution. Uh, let me find. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, kill with the rogue and then have her heal herself. We did lose a vulnerary too on this side. She can't heal herself. I guess she can. Actually, she can. She has the technology to heal herself. We do need to hit though. But if we manage, it'd be really cool. Oh, this is such trash. Um, I guess this could be the turn where we use the light rune. We got Killing Edge. Very cool game. 
Okay. I guess she can heal herself. Problem is, if we do, we get doubled by that by that halberd dude. We could kill him with the combination of the ballista and this bullet and the uh, rope go. That might be what we go for. Let's try it. So, let's try to see if this hits first of all. If it doesn't, well, she's kind of dead. I'm still not sure what exactly I'm supposed to defend. If it's just my lord, I'm gonna be good. Let me see again if I can see defend point. Oh, there's a ballista here. I guess that's just decoration. Maybe they just can't get through here? Hmm. Yeah, maybe they we lose if we... Uh, then we'd see some arrows, wouldn't we? There's also gonna be some dudes, like, breaking down these walls, probably. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can... See, you can't move outside of this chamber. Uh, let's see. Who's your brother? You were talking about a brother. Is it this guy? Not sure. Probably. Granddaughter of the chief of Tsurimonichai. Grandson, yeah, that's that's her brother, alright, okay. Uh, you're not gonna get your revenge today, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, but you can shoot this wyvern if you want to. This this dangerous wyvern. Take him out. And then rogue him to death. Okay. That should... I mean, you might die anyway, but... That's, that's, that's all there's to that. Uh, can you fortify yet? I don't think so, right? And you only visit that once. I wonder how many physics it takes. I'm never good at counting staff ranges. Uh, we might have to, like, physic dance physic. Let's see, this turn is not too busy over here. Dude, they all have slayer weapons. Those are a bit annoying to deal with. I kind of just don't want to aggro in here. Just face these enemies one at a time, because, like, how many enemies really move this turn? Like, I think just this... Just the hero and the shaman, and then the halberd you and the other shaman. Which... I mean, I think our halberd has proven that he can take them out just fine. A hero, too. Uh, this guy has not taken much damage at all. Let's see, no armor slayer. We have a brave sword, right? You might be able to just... Oh, gee, he doesn't kill. You probably kill, right? Dude. This guy is kind of gross. Brave lance? I mean, I guess that technically kills. Um, brave axe, maybe? Dude, this guy's so tanky, how? 18 defense, I guess that explains how. I mean, you're the hero of the story, how about you? No? Yeah, I guess it's just... I guess this guy is gonna live one round, or at least get to counter me. I guess I can trade some weapons around, but... Let's see... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna... It's hard to keep these three in a row here, which I want to do, while also killing that druid. I guess we're doing it though, I guess we're doing this. He's a threat and a half. <laughs> How about your supremacy? Okay, and then... Let's see... I think we want to end our turn with ranged weapons equipped again. So we want to trade with him and then attack this guy. And probably physical both. Uh, spear worked out fine for you. I think he's fine no matter what he attacks. Let's make sure this guy's dead. He's got a dodge to hit. And it will... Solmahawk, the last guy, or do it, like, do whatever, really. You have a hand axe, that's good. Uh, yeah, just, uh... Tomahawk him. Dude, this guy's big. <laughs> he has the big general sprite. The biggest general known to land. Uh, but yeah, this guy does have a hammer. Uh, hopefully he doesn't one-shot him. How does it not show the thing? I guess it, the game just doesn't care. This guy's a horse slayer, we don't care about that. I don't like putting him in range. But, 
think we don't have too much of a choice. I guess we could have substituted him for, I guess, the Lord. I can't pick him up anymore. We could maybe, like, can no one pick him up? Yeah, I guess he's going to have to spend a turn in hammer range. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, who supports the Lord? I mean, of course, he's a bishop. Of course he supports the Lord and the Savior. Is it him? God knows he needs it. Uh, it's so tempting to trade him to Brave Sword. I mean, he's in range of one shaman only. And I guess this guy with his javelin. Uh, let's give him a better chance of survival. Let's give him the Brave Sword. Not a big fan of it, but it is what it is. How close are we to fortify? <laughs> I think one more turn will do it. Okay, so we don't want... We could craft another Bliss that we can shoot something with him. I think I just craft one. The more we have, the more we have in the future, right? I think that makes the most sense. I think a Siege Master, Bonk. Uh, I can't kill him. Do the Brave Axe? Hold up. I can't just have a Brave Axe. That's just not cool. Okay, again, we just ignore the Hatchet Dude. We want to kill the Warrior. I think kill and trade for a sword of some kind. It's going to be the WTG here. I don't know if we want to use the Rune Sword or not. What do you have? Hand Axe, Steel Axe, whatever. I think I'm okay with her not countering at this point. Hand Axe, sure, why not? Um, Rune Sword actually almost kills. Silver Sword doesn't kill. Shemshir will probably kill. Come on. Hoop to float. Come on. Come. You're a sword master. You're supposed to floop de floop. Whatever. It's fine. Maybe you can kill with uh, the siege master or the, the other dude. It's gonna be a dicey hit. Rayfax might hurt a bit. But we do have the defenses. Let's kill this one. Uh, maybe it's bolting time then. I mean, this guy isn't the most threatening. And in fact, by being being here, this guy has trouble finding a way to attack. I guess he'll just use a bow then. I do want that guy to be gone. Uh, yeah, get rid of this dude. Get out of here. Yeah, there's no sense in doing that. <laughs> okay, we're just keeping the scouts on lookout here. Let's see. And uh, non-threatening hatchet in the face. What else is going down? Probably one of my units, if I had to guess. And that's fine. More than fine, in fact. That's what I wanted. Hope he doesn't, like... Get overwhelmed now. Okay, that's good too. Let's see the hammer. I'm I'm really worried about the hammer. Okay, that's the horse slayer dude. It's the one horse slaying weapon I did see. <laughs> XP gain is so high. I think Halberdier has like a class XP bonus usually. I don't know if the maker took that out. Okay, there's the hammer. 20, that's like, that's doable. Also, he dies. Goodbye, hero. Uh, well, his other one was like a wind sword, right? Interesting that they didn't go for that, because that could have avoided a counter for him. So I guess they really like doing damage. Usually, GBA feed Paradise is counter li not, not getting countered really highly. They also like, like putting people to very low HP, for sure. Okay, if you don't kill this guy, I'm going to be very mad. It would be very strange if you didn't kill this guy. You should two would kill him with 100 hit and doubling. That's why I promised to get mad, when I knew I couldn't be getting mad. Oh, they're going for the walls? Hmm. That's not good. Okay, there's the Brave Axe. Also not much of a threat, because it has no hit. Can you please crit this guy? Crit him, please. Thank you. I like that. 
That was an important guy to crit. Because he's strong. And now we have more freedom of movement. And uh, the Natsukeans. I think my druid is safe. Uh, killing edges! Yikes. Please double him. You're a rogue. You're supposed to double people. Yeah, get out of here. With the lightest of brands. And this is the sort master with the killing edge. No, 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 no. Come on, not like that. Come on. I bet I just lay here. I'll leave when this is over. Yo, that's not cool. That had like such a. I mean, it, like what? Like 37 displayed hit. No longbow, really. Ah, oh, fuck. Enemy inventory checking really important for this apparently. At least you didn't die. Oh, what happened here? Ah, uh, why are only weakness coming? You there? How long until the main boys come? I think they'll be charging in soon, boss. They wanted to pick up some gear. Uh, make me wait. What are you still doing here? Go off and start hacking some heads. Right, boss. My boys get here, I can finally see some action in the front line. Oh, so that guy's gonna move. I mean, we only have to last for eight more turns, right? How hard can it be? Okay, so, longbow, right? Yeah, okay. Well,. I guess I can put it in the force and hope for the best, but I guess I can eclipse the sh uh, the short master and then kill him with the blister because he's the biggest threat to us. And if I can put her in such a spot that I can trade with her, but there's no one here for her that. I guess I'm okay with facing a longbow hit. What if you eclipse that guy? How much? Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. I think Eclipse the Sword Master is correct though. If we hit him, <laughs> that is gonna be the question. Or hit her, excuse me. Nope. Uh, I can give you a status update on that, guys. I did not hit her. Uh, not much Ballista ammo left. Maybe, maybe we should dismount the Ballista and uh, shoot normally. You don't have a. You do have a longbow, so. That is a possibility. But I think right now we just shoot the sword master again. Mm. Maybe get some help from the flyers, because they're not doing much. And there are bows here, but they're not that strong. Maybe the flyers should help out over here. It's gonna be a uh, area we gotta defend at some point, right? Let's improvise here. Uh, I'm still gonna shoot the sword master though. Maybe I should focus on the bow enemies. Because they're what the flyer has the most troubles with. Mm, let's shoot the sword master. There's another hammer dude here, but apparently Antonius doesn't really care about them, but he still gets attacked. So we could rush now, but this guy probably not going to be fun to fight. Especially because I have mostly physical units here, and he has a stupid shield. Which I could have stolen with the rogue, maybe, but damn, that's <laughs> that's some intense tactics you need there. <coughs> Alright, let's keep fighting until we drop. Uh, we want to kill this shaman for sure. We just do the same thing as last turn, but move like one up ahead, like just brave sort this guy. <laughs> nice. Just to keep the, the hammer guys at bay. Uh, why not? <laughs> Is it him? Almost there. It's funny how we have like one goal towards, like we're working towards. Yeah, I think it's still nice to get this hand axe out here. But I'm gonna use a javelin now because it's probably enough for the shamans, I think. Maybe not. Maybe Alaster should go back as well. He's not doing much here. Okay, over here it's actually kind of barren. 
So if we want to kill this guy, we probably need to go ahead and do it now. He has a Sword Slayer equipped, so we don't have anything great for him. Not a big fan of these guys just sneaking out here to these walls. But if we just put our knight out here, they'll probably go for her instead. Poison Axe, Hack shit, Poison Axe. Let me just use our own Hand Axe here. Uh, we can make another... Can we not craft another one? Are we out of craft space? I guess you can only craft two at a time. Hold up. I guess we just can't craft this turn, huh? Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just use him to shoot this uh, this one. Okay, over here. Maybe we can get the boss to attack us up range and then we just Swordmaster him or something. We're gonna need a bit further in. I'm just gonna start hand axing dudes over here. I know said don't overextend, but if I don't go out here, then they'll crush my walls. Keep the sword mask out of range because she doesn't really kind of range attacks. Take us to play here. If this guy really breaks through, like, what is he gonna do? I'm just gonna meet him with a sage or something. Okay, I think I could definitely do more of my turns here with the dancer and everything, but being familiar with the map means I don't know for sure it's worth. Oh, there's a siege right here I could use to attack something. I guess we'll just go after this guy. <clears throat> okay, next. There's the poison axe. He's not a real threat, I just attacked him because I could. Nice. Okay, so they're chasing my poor druid. And you should have a Riyadh. Okay, so this is a two shot. I guess Katmus is the lowest defense out of all these, so they like attacking him. That's an unlucky hit though, that might cost him his life. If it gets hap if it happens more often, it will definitely cost him his life. Maybe even the hero will go for him now. But I think it's a hero with a uh, wind sword and a hammer, so maybe he won't. There's a chance. Yeah, I think he has to dodge this one though, if he wants a good chance of living. Yeah, okay, good hero, good hero. That's a good boy. Okay, we're still in trouble though. Oh, I'm not looking forward to fighting the boss. I wonder if I defeat the boss, will these like divisions stop coming? That would really help. We could just not get wrecked by enemies after we kill the boss. There's the hammer. Don't hit me, thank you. Okay, you're dead. I think brave weapons are more balanced when they don't double on enemy phase, but situations like these, I'm just gonna be thankful that it does, because it really, really helps here. But it's pretty busted. <laughs> it probably shouldn't, but in this case, I'm gonna be very grateful that it is the case. Oh, they just, they just keep them coming. <laughs> they have so much HP. The guy said he would be in the front line soon, but he didn't specify exactly when. Oh, he, that wall goes down quick for sure. Okay, don't kill my poor druid, please. They're just trying to help. Alright, here it comes. Oh, that's like nothing, that's whatever, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Calm down, and Oh, shit. Finally here. Come on, boys. We're all charging through now. Okay. Oh, you too. Looks like the brutes are storming the fort. I guess now is as good as time of any. Alert the scientists and tell them to begin to assault on the northeastern walls. Yes, chief. Someone said you just need to keep up the appearances for now. I mean, good luck with the appearances when you just tell me the plan, but... Uh, that's a wall that's going down too, probably. She's not going to be able to stop that. I can just kill the stupid Swordmaster. 
69 hit. Got him. Good job. Okay, have no fear. Fires right here. Let us... Oh, yikes. Uh, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. Uh, we do have other people available to help out here. Like you. The Brave Axe. Got him. And then... Poison Sword, Longbow, it's like whatever. I don't think it's worth attacking the Longbow guy. I think it might be better to just... Leave Rain Forest here to heal the Wyvern. And then have the Pegasus Knight here to support the Wyvern. And then have you here. I don't know why, what for. Let's just go through here. Okay, I'm um, here. I think I just keep up this little thing here because, like, maybe this guy will attack me eventually. Uh, he didn't move last turn, even though he could have. So I guess he just won't until, like, later, maybe, if at all. But right now, I'm kind of content with how this goes as long as my weapons hold up. Uh, let's see, spear. Maybe hand axe into spear or something is fine. I mean, the reinforcements have got to stop coming at some point, but if not, we're holding out here, so we might as well just keep doing this. Uh, kill him with the Brave Lance. Trait the... Hemex is fine, actually. Use the Brave Lance. Kill him. Right. And just... Keep up the same little machine thing that we have going on here. Yeah, just physic. And let's see. I mean he probably should have a javelin instead, but this will do, I guess. Um, I'll actually could do this. Uh, trade, javelin, weights, dance. I can't skip that one, I guess. And go back here and brave sword. And over here, so he's gonna storm the place. Hammer, sword reaver, yikes. That's annoying. Because hammer is gonna be good against her. So we have to take out that guy first. I guess we can. He also has a sword reaver though. We can't really bait him, either of these units. That's probably the intention. We can bolting him though if he gets close enough. That's really annoying. Probably just want them in range of the siege weapons then. Let's retreat. Poison axe, poison axe, hatchet, hatchet, yeah. We'll just retreat. A bit. Like out of range of the hatchets, just... Uh, we're situated that she counters them all. Like right here. Uh, maybe even with Volm for now. Because we might not get an opportunity later. No crafting still, no crafting still. Uh, we can kill this one, I guess, to prevent us from getting poisons. And just because using Ballistas is fun. I'll hold out on the bolting. Don't need to. Uh, this guy... You can't really go outside this, this little point here. Unfortunately. So just wait. And I'll keep the stage here. Probably... Maybe go here. So they're running back to get healed, I guess. Boss is storming the front line. Oh, the, oh, they're moving. That's bad news. Okay, there's another... A flux Shaman trying to get through my hero. They have a bad track record at this point. They should know better. Alright, that's just a miss. I'm gonna hold L to skip some animations here, because we've seen them all at this point. And that's a... It just stacked me up close when I had a... Oh, no, never mind, I had the javelin. Never mind, you're right. Okay, that's actually good. Need to come brave lance Missed this. Thank you, that's the hammer dude. Another one down. Anthony, easily MVP. 
Those blisters will make it harder to use my dancer and healer though. Okay, there's a poison axe guy. I was holding L, but apparently he's not skipping animation always. That's fine, these guys are not the threat. Maybe I should retreat in such a way that I could like assault the boss. Like he walked in my range. Forgot about that. Well, that wall is toast. It's not like the enemies can do much with that wall being down anyway. Okay, some longbows will go for my flyers, that's fine. Just won't do shit. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Another lucky crit. Alright. Goodbye. Longbow gonna chip me. Alright, that's fine. Close to me, that's how I like it. What else is happening? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. What are we dealing with here? What just appeared in my corner? What did I see? Assassins. I knew it. Call them silencers, they're gonna be assassins. You actually got silencer ability? Lethality, yeah. So <laughs> watch them lethality that wall. Uh, sniper and the Swordmaster. Okay, you can handle that. Hopefully. Six more turns. Alright, it's been an hour. If you made it this far, I admire and appreciate your dedication. Part 2 of this will be out soon, and that will show how this battle ended, and I hope to see you there. If you want to play this yourself, the link is in the description. Goodbye.